Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Hebba from My Little Journal. And today I'm here to share a layout in my Discbound Traveler's Notebook. So today is a collaboration with the amazing Tori. I will link her video and her information down in the description box for you. But we decided to use some of my stamp sets to create something fun in our Discbound Traveler's Notebooks. And I'm all for it. As you guys know, these are products that are available in my shop right now. So if you're looking to add some fun new stamps to your collection, or if you're looking to cut down your traveler's notebooks and put them on discs, then I have a few fun colors of these disc bound traveler's notebook covers. So anyways, what I decided to do, I wanted to document our Eid holiday and I printed three photos of food because you guys know I'm a foodie. I love documenting the food we eat and especially our Middle Eastern Arabic food. So I printed three photos of our Eid desserts and what we had for lunch. And I wanted to document those three photos. So I grabbed my um, Food for Thought stamp set and my two Sema Alpha stamps because obviously I can use these to either add a title or, you know, add some foodie stamps and things like that. I think I'll probably also use my Eid stamps, either my Kelly Perky collaboration or my Studio Calico collaboration and use that as well on my spread. I went through my traveler's notebooks. As you guys know, I do trim down my traveler's notebooks and I found these three patterns and I'm thinking one of them would work. I do want to use a grid on the opposite side. So I'll just end up using something within my like disc bound TN because a lot of times I do not stick them back to back until I'm 100% sure that I'm not going to use that spread. So like something like this, I didn't stick them back to back because I do want to use this pattern. And then I have a grid here so I can definitely use this side of my page or the op the back side of my layout to complete this spread, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna grab that grid and I will start creating. So I think I'm gonna put you on fast forward so this video is not too long. I just need to decide what paper I want to use for this. But if you want to get more inspiration um, using some of my stamps and my Disc Bound Traveler's Notebook, I definitely recommend to check out Tori's video. Like I said, this is a fun collaboration that I'm doing with her. So I will link her in the description box for you if you want to check out her video as well and see how she uses her stamps in her Traveler's Notebook. So let's get to it. I'm going to put you on fast forward and try to put the spread together fast, quick, and easy using some of my uh, stamp sets. Okay, let's get crafting. I am just trying to figure out which pattern I want to use with my three photos. And I decide the green is not going to work. Nothing in my photos kind of match that pattern. So I just go ahead and add the other two and then think that I can decide later. But I do like the pattern with the circle and it says today's details or something like that. So I just add that one at the top and I do end up using that one, by the way. Anyways, I'm going to stick down my photos. I did print my photos kind of like a Polaroid. I just wanted to have fun a little bit with my photos and thought it gives me space to add little tidbits, maybe embellishments later or something. I'm going to start by stamping aid food using my Sema Alphas. I do go back and forth between the uh, uppercase and lowercase. And so I stamp aid at the top and then food at the bottom. And in the center, I'm gonna use my and, my speech bubble and, to add right in the center. So it basically says aid and food. And I thought that was cute. I do love these little speech bubbles because it adds some cuteness to your title and your title doesn't look the same every single time, if that makes sense. Anyways, once I stamp that out, this is where I decide, okay, I'm gonna use 
this pattern over the other. I feel like it fits better. And I'm gonna also be stamping the little bursts next to my title. I didn't like the bottom one. I, I usually like to add the bursts next to the title or above it but I had to stamp that one on the bottom and you'll see I'll cover that up later on. But I did grab my Kelly Perky collaboration, the Ramadan collaboration, to stamp two dates right above Eid. And I'm gonna use my Food for Thought stamp set to stamp This Meal Was Epic. It's like a nice little journaling spot. I stamped it on sticker paper and I'm gonna use that journaling spot to cover up my little burst that I stamped next to food. Like I said, I didn't like how it looked and the journaling spot fit perfectly in that space and it was a great place for me to add journaling. I want to add something in my circle on the opposite side of my page. So I go through my chipboard and I had this chipboard from Studio Calico and it was more Thanksgiving themed, but it works for Eid as well because we gather and we're thankful for family and food and friends and all that good stuff. So I used the chipboard to add in my circle. And while I had the chipboard sheet out, I used it to add family favorites. And I'm just kind of filling in those gaps. I also added taking it in. And it's also a great way to add more color to my spread using my chipboard. Now, the opposite side looked pretty bland to me. So I decided to use some alpha stickers to just spell out today. And by the way, you had a first row seats to my dyslexic brain. I wanted to spell out today words. And so I started with a D. I don't know why. And I caught it pretty quickly. But I also decided that I should start my today at the top, not on the corner. I don't know why I started at the corner, but I wanted to spell out today we celebrate family. And so it made more sense to start at the top. So I moved things around and I started spelling out today we celebrate family. It won't fill the whole circle. So what I'm gonna do is grab some of my puffy stickers and fill in that little gap. I end up using a black heart. And while I had that sheet out, I used some stars and hearts to add to the opposite side of my page. Way I bring in some of that black to the left side. almost done. I'm just going to use my Tombow markers to color in the dates, my title. I also fill in my journaling spot. And then I'm going to grab my punch to punch out my holes for my Disc Bound Traveler's Notebook. Add this new spread to my cover and then call my layout done. So easy, so simple. I love these stamp sets. I've been using them nonstop. If you didn't notice, all my alphas are black now because I've inked them all up and it's just been a great little add-on to my stash. Anyways, you guys, as always, I will have everything linked in the description box for you. Don't forget to check out Tori's video uh, she created something really fun and beautiful using my new stamp sets. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!